Okay, in this video, I'm going to go over variables and data types in Python. So to create a variable, it's pretty simple. You just start typing the name of the variable that you want. Typically, you want your name to be meaningful. So, you know, you don't want to have bad practices of typing things like foobar, unless it's just for a quick test or you're trying to write an exam. Uh, but in this case, you know, if you want to create a string, you would type like my string and say Kevin, for example, with double quotes. You could have a string with single quotes, also does the same thing. You could have a Boolean called true, or you could also have like false. You could have a integer, so it's like a number one. Have a float which will have decimal places. You could have a complex number if you're into FFTs. So you might have like a 1.3 J, J to indicate it's a complex. And then you have a none type. So that's just called none. And you might use that if you know you're initializing something to be zero or empty, you might use that. You create a list using the brackets. And then you have a dictionary. For a dictionary, you have one. And then two, for example. So this will do this will do like a mapping between the different elements inside. So you could call out a one that goes to one, a two that goes to two. So we'll go more into dictionaries later on. And then if I set, um, you'll use the curly braces. And if you have a tuple, you'll just use parentheses. Okay, so we could verify our data types by put a breakpoint here start debugging. So you can see on the side here, you know, if you hover over it, you know, my boolean is a bool, you hover over my complex, it's a complex, you know, float, you can see it's a dict, uh, int, list, untype, a set, a string, also a string, and a tuple. So you can also come here to the debug console and check your type. So for example, see, it'll tell you that it's a type dict. Um, you can also do it for something else. Like for example, my complex. And there you go. That's how you make variables in Python. And right here is just some of the more common data types that you'll be using, but there's a longer list for special cases, like with bytes or other things. And you could look those up for the special cases, but this is good enough to get you started. All right.